Good morning, boys and girls. Today in phonics, I would like to focus on two skills. One is that silent E we've been working on all week. And the second one is a skill that we have barely touched on. It is the soft G or how we can figure out when G says J instead of G. So we will talk about those two things. We have three activities we're going to do today. Please pause and grab something to write with and something to write on. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to read some CVC words and then we're going to add the silent E to them and look at how the vowel changes from the short vowel to the long vowel. Here are our three CVC words. Let's tap them out quickly. Can, k, an, can, tap, t, app, tap, bit, b, it, bit. Very nice. Now, I'm going to slide them over to our silent E. And we're going to change that short vowel sound to a long vowel sound when we tap it out. So instead of A ah for this first one, we're going to say A, K, A, N, K, A, N. Again, we're going to say the long A sound. T, A, P, tape. And we're going to say the long I sound for this word. B, I, T, bite. So anytime you see that silent E at the end of the word, it changes the other vowel to a long sound even though you do not pronounce the E sound. Keep practicing boys and girls. You are getting very good at silent E. Let's check this off and talk about something else for a minute. This is what I like to call soft G. Soft G is when a G says the J sound like J instead of G. It does that when it goes before an I, an E, or a Y. So each time you would pronounce it like this, J, J, J. J -e. J -e. J -e. All right, now let's look at some examples of words that have soft G in them. The GI words are giant, giraffe, and magic. It has the J sound in the middle. G-E, gem like a gemstone, huge, and this also has a silent E that makes the you say its na name as well as it makes the G say J, and cage. Both of these are examples of silent E words, huge and k age. And then... G, Y. In these particular examples, Y acts like a vowel. Gem sounds like a I, but it's a Y instead of an I. And in this word, energy, the E takes on a long E sound. So Y can be very tricky, 
but we do know and it is very easy to remember if there is a Y after that G you pronounce it J like the J sound very good now let's take a look at four pictures this is what you will need your whiteboard and marker for because you are going to be writing the words all of these words have a silent E in them and three letters that come before the E so if it helps you to set up your board like this so that you can sound them out and write them more easily you may do that at this time now let's look at the four pictures I have selected today kite bike wake vase let's look at kite k i t kite write kite with a k Did you remember the silent E? Good job. Our next word, and you don't have to erase your E, just leave it there. Bike, B I K, bike. Check yours to mine. Bike. The next word. Wake. I wake up. Wake. W ache. Wake. W ache. All right, check your word and see if it is correct. Wake. And the last word, vase. Vase. V -a -s vase. Check your word to my word. Very nice. So just to recap or review what we've learned in this lesson, we talked about words that have the long vowel and silent E at the end. Example, kite, you don't hear the E. I says its name. We also talked about soft G as in gem, gemstone, gem. The E makes the G say J and we call that soft G. I does this as well as Y. So if there is an E, an I, or a Y after your G, it says J, just like J. Good job, boys and girls. Keep working on those phonics skills and phonics rules, and you will be super readers next year in first grade.
See you guys later. Goodbye.